Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. We're doing another Ripaverse video because I'm excited to talk about this one. Now, item number one, the campaign, it's been released. Everybody is hyped. But it seems for a different reason. And it seems that this is a reason that Eric didn't quite see when he released it. That's right, today we are talking about Yaira. The... Blonde bombshell. Yeah, let's go with that. The blonde bombshell that he showed off in the promo trailer and released posters for. And I can't think of any Rule 34, I mean reason, why she wouldn't be popular to so many people. But let's get into it here and talk about with who we think she's going to be, what her potential power sets could be, and if she has any sort of history with the lead character, Isom. Here we go. All right, so this is Yaira. And I will say this, the artwork looks really good. However, in the... Uh, trailer that he showed, I would say that uh, Yaira looked a little older in the artwork there. And by older, I don't mean like much older. Like here, it looks like she's early 20s, late teens maybe, you know. Um, uh, for those of you who are really, really weird, you better make sure she's older. Weird ass people. But... <clears throat> One of the things that first intrigued me when he showed this character is you get a lot of this energy stuff going on in the photo, right? Especially around the hands, her eyes, they're glowing. And that got me interested with what kind of power sets are we going to see? Now, a lot of this looks like she's bending light around her. And so I had a theory that her power set's probably going to be closer to that of maybe an energy wielder, uh, shooting plasma beams, things like that. Um... I don't know if Rippa would go off the bat with any sort of uh, matter manipulator or reality bender or anything like that. Um, but the, in in one of the photos of the um, of the trailer, we may have to get to that. Uh, I didn't pull that one up quite yet, but actually, let's. I do have the trailer pulled up, so let's go here real quick. Bam. All right, and as you can see in this one here, and maybe it's just the shading, but the eyes, the eyes don't look, and maybe this isn't Yaira. I'm pretty sure this would be her, though. Uh, same outfit and everything, but the eyes are definitely not glowing here. Uh, she's a little bit, a little bit more shaded, a little bit more tan, um, and the the face, at least in this picture, uh, looks like she could be a little bit older, you know, mid twenties to thirties. Here, I I much prefer this. Uh, style over uh, the little bit of the more uh, girlish look uh, in the other photo. And <clears throat> so here, obviously, we see her powers are not active all the time. And in one of the photos, let's see if I can even find it. Where was it? Uh, it actually, and this is and this is the one that made me decide, okay, you know what? I want to check this character out. There it is right there. Uh, nope, that's the Alpha Court. Nope, that's not where I want to be. Come on. There we go. Yaira here. She's got this really cool Super Saiyan Blue thing going on. Again, look, she looks older. She looks like she's in workout equipment right now, which that's going to be interesting. So we're, I think we're going to see her in a civilian manner first. Um, but it also looks like she, again, that blue aura going around her looks... Like, it's kind of got this Super Saiyan Blue vibe going on, you know, hashtag Super Saiyan Blue. It's my Vegeta. My wife just got that for me. I freaking love it. Um, And this got me interested. Now, with this energy around her in this photo here, right? And then the way that this picture is here with all the light bending around her, I'm almost wondering if she doesn't have some, uh, like, photon powers i think that i'm gonna lean into photon powers i think that her powers are uh, potentially the ability to manipulate light photons 
uh, on that level and use them probably to shield her. I'm going to say she's going to be able to shield herself. Obviously, she can fly, so there's a good chance that her power of flight doesn't necessarily come just innately. It's probably from the ability to bend light around her and move those particles. And then I think the... Um, I, I think she... I don't know if she's going to have any sort of version of super strength. Again, light particles, she might be able to channel that and that would power her up. But I don't think she's going to be super strong innately. I think her power set is rooted in the fact that she is going to be this you know, photon wielder, this light wielder. Hey, look at that. It's a drink with crazy. Anyway, so... <clears throat> that was the first thing. The second thing, and again, seeing her in this kind of civilian clothing here, blow that up again, seeing her in that civilian clothing here, um, obviously there's a reason I made the Rule 34 joke at the beginning of this, but um, it looks like, and I'm not sure who who this is down here. Well, I'd say my screen's in the way, so you can't see it, but it looks like she's confronting somebody here. I think that we're going to see her in a civilian capacity. Uh, if she's into the workout stuff, very... I, I want, I'm, I'm guessing that her personality is going to be that more of a very... I would say iron willed woman. I don't, I don't think she's going to come across as like the bubbly airhead. I don't based off this. I'm not seeing her coming across as a, the sulking type, especially because the color palette is blue, right? The color palette being blue. She's definitely not going to be a, a goth Raven type, which hashtag rip reverse needs big titty goth girls period. Cause I, I married one. That's why it's just, you know, big titty goth girl representation anyway. But I, <clears throat> I think that she's probably going to be more of the stoic type. I think, Oh God, I hope I'm using that right. I think she'll be more of the stoic woman. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if she is going to be the on her own type be really cool. If there was something between her and Isom in the past, obviously it's really easy to attack the relationship stuff. I mean, guy, girl, it's not that hard to make those ones. It also could be childhood friendship. It also could be that the team up if he, cause Eric did say that there was a violent altercation between Isom and another character. He didn't say who, and I think a lot of people might lean towards the alpha core. I would lean towards Yaira. Right? Maybe there's something in the past there that they teamed up at one point in time, and then that team up relationship just kind of fell apart. And her having this stoic uh, nature about her didn't agree with Isom in something, and it all came to calamity. Um, I would think that if that is part of the storyline that happens, and I have no idea, but theory crafting be theory crafting. I think that there's probably a good chance she has a chip on her shoulder. And my question is, was she a part of the event that led to Isom hanging up, you know, the suit, hanging up the cape? So, um, also with this artwork here, um, it would be very easy to draw parallels between this and Wonder Woman. But then again, I think that would be easy to do for a lot of female characters that wear that style of skirt have the obvious headband around. Um, is she going to be wealthy or not? That's the question. I mean, uh, play on tropes here, but it wouldn't be out of the question to make, you know, a bombshell bomb, you know, blonde woman, you know, wealthy or anything like that. Or is he going to go with the opposite of it and say that she's kind of from the streets? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Coming... Coming off of this, I mean, that looks like a hella expensive suit. A lot of gold on there, stuff like that. Not quite sure uh, a superhero uh, who's poor could afford that unless she can bend light matter to a point where she can um, uh, materialize the suit around her. That's my other theory here is if she is this photon wielder, as I would call her, is she that powerful how powerful does it go what's the upper limits that 
Rip is going to set for these characters. Obviously, he said he wants to start out with like the low level street crime stuff and then probably build to a bigger story later on. I think that's fantastic. My question is, is where does she fit into this story? Um, because based off of what we saw in the trailer, she seems to be displaying more of a power set than Isom himself was displayed in the trailer. Like Isom, he's just punching a lot of dudes. I don't recall seeing him fly. Could be wrong. I don't recall seeing Isom being able to fly. And obviously we didn't get much from the Alpha Core outside of the fact that they can fly, right? Um... And is the Alpha Core, are they all individuals or do their power sets rely on each other? That would be another theory crafting video for them. But let me know what you guys think about Yaira. And let me know what you guys thought about this video. And I am doing my best to try to do one video a day. Uh, work is going to keep me insanely busy for the next few days. So I am going to get this video out for all of your viewing pleasure. And then I am going to record two more videos on two different topics. One of them is Ripperverse related. Um, and the other is uh, Marvel related. And what they are doing um, with some of their marketing right now so anyway without any further ado i'm gonna get to doing that while you guys get to watch while you guys well i guess you've already watched this video well you guys get to go watch some other videos on the channel yeah go do that for me that'd be fantastic and i will see you guys right here next time on a drink with crazy cheers Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.